Hey, and welcome back to Connect TV. Thanks for tuning in. This is Hayden. So in this third video of this series, uh, we're going to show you how to use Power Automate to automate the process of an email that may come from your customer. We're going to take that attachment and we're going to automatically load that email into SharePoint. So in the previous video, we imported the shipping data. Now I've deleted the shipping data 2020 for the purposes of this ex uh, example or video. So to start the process, I'm going to jump right into Power Automate. So here's my Office 365 apps. Here's Power Automate. Right. Power Automate comes with a load of great templates um, that you can start to use. So save an Office 365 email attachment to OneDrive for business or send a customized email with a new. So there's, there's all of these great templates here for, for you to use. And I'm just going to create a, one from scratch just to show you. Right, so I want an oops, automated cloud flow. So I'm going to call this the um, Power BI test. And I'm going to search for my trigger. So the trigger is what happens to initiate this process as it suggests. So when a new email arrives. Okay. So I'm going to select that. And create. So what this is going to do, it's going to ask me for some options. Um, the subject filter, power automate test. So what I'm saying here is um, anything that comes in with the subject filter power automate test. So that way it will distinguish between um, any of the other emails that I don't want to process in this. So it could be a from address. You can put as many of these in as you like. Okay. So I'll just copy that for later use. So what about a new step in here? Right. So I want to create a file in SharePoint. So I'm going to choose this create file here. There we go. A bit of a delay. So it's asking me for the site address. So I'm going to jump in here. Control C, copy the site. Jump back into here. There we go. So it's found it there. Folder path. Now what I want to want to do is put it into my supply chain data into my shipments folder so it will land in here yeah okay so the name of the file so when you select these it gives you a list of content from the email so as I've told it up here when an email arrives these are all the bits of information that are from that so the, the, the name of the file is going to be the attachment name let me click on that to expand it. And the file content need to include this is the attachment content. Okay, so that will do that. Now what I want to do, now that's going to process that for me. I don't want to have that file sitting in my inbox. No, just for this demo, I've got an empty inbox here. So I'm going to add another action. And that will be move. Um, email to folder. So I'm going to select this move email. So the message ID in here is the original. If I scroll here, message ID. So as you can see, now that I've added SharePoint in there, it's it's from the create file options. Sorry. It's given me all of the possibilities, the path. I don't need any of that. I want to go straight to the original email. So when a new email arrives at the very top, and I want the message ID and the folder I want to move it to is my deleted items. Okay. So what that will do, it will process that file and save it. So it will process that file, save it to SharePoint, and delete this message. So I'm just going to hit flow checker here. No errors, no warnings, no nothing to worry about. I'm going to hit save. 
Right, okay. So now that that's saved, let's go back. I'm going to move into my email. I've got this email ready to go. I'm going to hit send. Uh, I'll pause the video here for a moment. A few moments later. Okay, so that email has just arrived here and it's just disappeared. Brilliant. So if I hit refresh, that will show that it succeeded in that flow. So if I just go back here, hit deleted items, there it is at the very top there. Okay, right, so moving back into here, you can also see that it's just landed there also. So with using Power Automate, you can automate what is a very, very manual process today in today's world. Uh, Excel files, CSV files are so common and they cause such a challenge if you want to have a fully fluid and fully automated process. This product will give you that. And that's it, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit like, please hit subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Um, I shall see you next time. Goodbye.